Hey everybody, Dan Robino here with Windows Central and we're taking a look here at Windows 10 Mobile Build 10536. It is now available to Windows insiders on the fast ring and so it is loaded up here. A couple words of caution, uh, this is a long update. You're going to go through uh, 10514 up to 10536 and it's actually two builds of 10536. It took us about 90 minutes for the update to go through and install. So don't worry if you're doing it and noticing it taking a long time, that is actually normal. So what's new? Uh, there's going to be a lot of performance improvements here. For instance, if when you go to the store, you should see things definitely loads a lot quicker. It definitely feels a lot more, um, you know, fluid in the way it should be. Same thing when you hit Cortana. Everything just loads a lot more quickly. The animations are a little bit more smooth. Uh, perhaps one of the biggest improvements is in the Photos app, which needs to be updated in the store. So after you do the update, head to the store and go there. So now when you load a photo, one of the things that's supposed to be improved is the panning, the pinch to zoom. It's still not as good as I would like it, but definitely uh, responds better. Of course, you can also double tap. There's also now a context menu. When you hold that down, this pops up. You can see the animation still a little weird there, how it fills in. But now you get these different options, share, edit, delete. There's also slideshow, print, and set as. So that's definitely a new thing. Also, when you click on the ellipsis buttons here, there's a set as button or a menu choice, and you get set as lock screen, background, and photo tile. These options are not new, but they used to be within the menu itself. Now there's set as, and there's a sub menu that pops up giving you those options. So they're basically trying to clean up. Uh, obviously, you probably won't use those too often, so it looks like they want to hide them and just give you a little bit of a cleaner menu. Other than that though, uh, definitely a little bit faster, smoother. Other big addition here is folders. So now this connects up to OneDrive and it brings down different folders on there, including your pictures. So a lot of people have asked for that. That's on top of the collections that came back, uh, or sorry, albums that came back recently. Uh, so now we have this and we can scroll that way, which is kind of nice to get that panorama effect that people have wanted, or at least have the ability to side scroll as opposed to a hamburger menu. So that is definitely a big update. Uh, other than that, though, we we're talking about, like I said, a lot of performance improvements. You can see here news loading up. Things are generally pretty good. I think they can still do a better job here, but it's definitely in the right direction. Uh, the other big thing, uh, Insider Hub is now back. So you get that to submit feedback to Microsoft as well as seeing what's new in this build and announcements and that kind of thing. And, and it's actually running very well. Uh, when it comes to here, you can see uh, quiet hours no longer blinks. That's because you can now enable quiet hours and that's working. Of course, you need Cortana for that to work, unfortunately. Mobile hotspot is also now working. We don't use that feature too often, but if you do, it should work now in this build. So that is always a very good thing. Other than that though, uh, it's great to see how quick and fluid everything is. Um, this is running a Lumia Icon. So it's already a fairly fast Windows phone, but uh, it should hopefully behave a little bit better on a Lumia 830 and other devices with a pro lower end processor. Now the icon has always been able to do this trick here, which is you hold down the start uh, window icon there and it basically splits the screen for one handed use. Uh, so that's not new to this device, but it is new to devices with screens lower than five inches in size. So they were doing that for obviously larger phones. So you can do one hand access, uh, access using your thumb, but now you should be able to do it on displays that are smaller. So think of like a Lumia 735, for instance, you should now have that option as well. That's just due to uh, basically feedback. A lot of people like that feature apparently. So Microsoft enabled it on all devices and all screen sizes, which is pretty cool. Uh, like we said though, Skype video preview working really well. Everything just definitely feels tighter. Microsoft Edge feels a little bit better. I can't say it feels incredibly different. Uh, I would still prefer some transitions here. You can see it just goes to a white screen, then it loads. I think that still needs to be worked out. So that's not a final product, I don't think. I hope not at least, but uh, definitely some work left here to be done by Microsoft, but step in the right direction. A lot of things that were broken, including say uh, the lock screen here, uh, turns on instantly. So before there would be a delay of almost like three to four seconds before those numbers turned up, uh, sorry to clock and the notifications, now it's instant. That bug drove me nuts. So I'm really excited that's been fixed. But there you go, that is a quick look at 10536. Is it good enough for a daily use? Uh, I can't say right now, it definitely feels a lot better. Tune to Windows Central though, tomorrow we'll give you more information after we get a chance to play with it for another 24 hours or so. But there you go, thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.